Please put your hands together for Claire Vida Nathan. recently and an Indian doctor came into the waiting room and she looked at her clipboard and she said, Mrs. Vaidyanathan, that's me. You are Mrs. Vaidyanathan. I am Mrs. Vaidyanathan. Are you Indian? Do I look Indian? Well, you could be from the north. <laughs> How far north? <laughs> like Russia? <laughs> when you are a part of a mixed family, you run into interesting situations. So my husband and I, we have five kids. <laughs> go big or go home, right? We have five beautiful kids and they're all a lovely shade of brown. But when we go out in public together, it can cause some confusion because every time I'm out with my kids, every Hispanic grandma within a one mile radius finds me and says something terrifying like, aw, tus niños son preciosos. To which I respond, <laughs> No hablo espanol. Lo siento. And she looks at me like this. Uh. And then she gestures to my kids like this. Uh. As if to say, how can you deprive them of their language? And you can't. You can't blame her, can you? Because she thinks I married a Hispanic guy and refused to learn Spanish. In reality, I married an Indian guy and refused to learn Indian. Because it turns out that's not actually a language. So, when you're part of a mixed family, find out really fast that people are interested in that. And they've got questions. And different kinds of people ask these questions in different ways. Black people tend to be very honest, upfront. What are your kids mixed with? And I appreciate that. White people are just as curious as everybody else. But they can't ask because <laughs> they have to resort to what I fondly call the white people maneuvers. White person maneuver number one, you don't ask. You just count. And you can see their little faces going like, they're looking at my kids and they're like, Okay, she's got five. Dear God, she's got five kids. Okay, no one can afford to adopt that many kids. She must be making them in-house. Which means she's got her hands on a brown guy. But there are so many different kinds of brown people. He could be from anywhere. And that's as far as they get. Their eyes glaze over, you see their brains shut down, and that's it, because racism. 
second white person maneuver. It is always a mom at the park. And she sidles up to me and she says, Oh my God, your kids are so beautiful. Where is their dad from? And I tell her, he's from Akron. Thank you for asking. No, where is he really from? Okay, he was born in Pittsburgh. And then when he was three, they moved to Akron. And that's one really great way to constipate a white woman. Being part of a biracial marriage, I've learned a lot about myself. And I've come to this conclusion. I think I'm more Indian than my husband. Wait, I'm gonna get you there. I do yoga. I drink chai. And the most Indian thing of all, I made my parents proud and I married a nice Indian boy. <laughs>